Also breaking tonight, a staffer for a troubled Harris County judge goes on the record filing a formal complaint against her boss. We've been reporting on Judge Kelly Johnson's conduct for weeks, including a DWI arrest in June, and her court reporter says there's so much more to the story. ABC 13's Luke Jones live with the details tonight, Luke. And Judge Johnson's already out on bond for that DWI arrest. She hasn't presided over any cases since. All of those have been reassigned, and now we have this. Her longtime court reporter speaking out tonight, she says, because you have a right to know just how troubling Johnson's alleged behavior is, and that's both outside and inside the courtroom. Before that infamous field sobriety test in April, before the DWI arrest in June, Gail Rowland says her boss, Judge Kelly Johnson, was headed down a troubling path. Roland, who served as court reporter for the 178th District Court since 2017, releasing a statement exclusively to Eyewitness News tonight. Quote, since January 2024, there has been a significant decline in Judge Johnson's behavior, both professionally and personally, in and out of court. Many professionals have been involved due to the nature of her actions and behavior. We asked Roland what this behavior entailed. She wasn't comfortable sharing that right now, saying it could jeopardize any investigation into Johnson's conduct. Her statement goes on to say, quote, due to an ethical duty to protect the integrity of the judicial system, attorneys and their clients, as well as the public who elected her, I felt I had no alternative but to file a judicial complaint outlining the specifics of her conduct before the traffic stop and June arrest. In the April traffic stop, Johnson makes it clear to deputies that she's a criminal court judge. I mean, this is a huge deal for me. And requests high-ranking officials be called to the scene. We're not calling Lieutenant Katrieb, and we're not calling Sheriff Gonzalez. Although she failed parts of her field sobriety test, deputies decided she'd passed enough of it, and she was let go with a warning for speeding. But in late June, when Houston police say they saw her make an illegal turn, she was arrested and charged with DWI. Her attorney insists she blew zero on an alcohol test, but police say they found prescription pill bottles in her car. And we asked Judge Johnson tonight about that judicial complaint recently filed against her. She tells us, quote, I have lots of comments, but I'm not going to talk to Channel 13. Administrative Judge Susan Brown also declining to comment.